Your Excellency, the Chairman of the Conference, the Secretary General, the Director of BDT and your colleagues, Your Excellency's Heads of Delegations, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a great pleasure and honor to address this global gathering of the Communications Fraternity at this World Telecommunications Development Conference 2014. The government of Uganda and my delegation are indeed happy to be associated with this global event where stakeholders in the communications industry have come together not only to share experience and to get back, and to get back from each other, but also to chart our new and common front for the development of the sector. The government of Uganda is indeed grateful to the government of the United Arab Emirates for accepting to host this WTDC 14 and for the warm hospitality accorded to us since our arrival in this beautiful city of Dubai. In the same breath, we are also thankful to the ITU for the wonderful organization in ensuring the success of this conference. We are pleased that WTDC 14 will consider issues that are pertinent to us in Africa content, continent and indeed, in particular, to Uganda, which are contained in the African Common Proposals. The Uganda Vision 2040 identifies ICT among the key foundations to spur Uganda's transformation into a modern and prosperous country. To date, Uganda has registered modest achievements in the ICT sector, which have impacted positively in the economy by creating direct and indirect employment to our people. The critical issue now is for us to build on these initial successes in the mobile telephony and now broadband connectivity so as to implement a range of policies which promote and integrate ICT infrastructure for Uganda. Mr. Chairman, the WTDC 2010 identified five program areas intended to promote equitable and sustainable development of ICT. Uganda has been able to address these program areas in many areas. Uganda has made significant strides in the deployment of ICT infrastructure and, telefo and telephone infrastructure, resulting in the border-to-border -border connectivity through both, Uganda, through both government and private sector interventions which has provided gateway to seamless communication with neighboring countries. Access to broadband in Uganda is largely driven by mobile devices, having now grown from 510,000 in 2010, 3.45 million in 2013. As part of our efforts to build confidence in the use of ICTs, Uganda has enacted requisite cyber laws and established the communication sector uh, sector computer emergency response teams in partnership with ITU, of which we want to express our gratuity. Uganda's ICT policy and regulatory environment is geared towards encouraging investment, protecting interests of customers, and is being realigned to respond to industry demands to foster innovation. Mr. Chairman, Uganda has continued to play an active role in the regional and continental initiatives which brings together ICT regulators. I would like to thank, among others, ITU, CTO, ITSO for holding their study group meetings, e-government meetings, and assembly of parties 2012 in the Uganda, respectively. These regional initiatives aim at strengthening, harmonizing policy and regulatory frameworks for integration of African telecommunications ICT market. Secondly, implementing the resolutions of Connect Africa Summit, and third, development of the broadband infrastructure and achievements of regional interconnectivity and universal access. Mr. Chairman, as I conclude, let me take this opportunity to address this August gathering on the subject of the forthcoming ITU on a potential conference which will be held in Busan, the Republic of Korea, of South Korea, in November 2014. I wish to take this opportunity and honor to inform you that the government of Uganda has submitted her candidature for election to the ITU Council representing African Region Group D. 
I would like to respectively, therefore, request your excellencies for your support for Uganda's candidature. I would therefore like to thank you and wish all delegates fruitful deliberations and thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.